Hi friends, Miss Sherry here from Harold's Zion. I'm coming to you today, not from the church, but from my back porch. It was such a beautiful day. I thought I would come out and spread some sunshine, I hopefully to you, and to get some sunshine for myself. So yesterday was Palm Sunday, and I hope you joined into the parade and you waved your your palms and your greenery and you put it on your front door and you said, Hosanna! I hope you did all that yesterday. I did see some pictures that people posted and gave to Pastor John that they did decorate their front doors with the green and wrote Hosanna. So good job and keep up the good work. So today I want to talk about anger. Have you ever been so angry or mad that you wanted to throw something or hit something or scream really loud at the top of your lungs? I know I have. And it may have even been recently, now that cyber school has started for a lot of us and how frustrating that could be, or maybe you get angry or mad because of what's going on, that you can't go over your friend's house, or you can't go to certain places that used to be fun, like the movies and to maybe Chuck E. Cheese and those kind of places, or the mall. So maybe you even experienced that anger recently. And maybe you've said some bad things to people when they told you that you couldn't do something or that you have to do something. Maybe you used phrases like, I don't like you anymore, or you're not my favorite person, or even the H word, hate. Now hate is a very, very strong word and I try to never use it. But I wanna tell you that these feelings that you're having, especially now, when we can't do the fun things that we normally do, um, they're okay. It's okay to have those feelings, but it's a, not okay to use those angry feelings to hurt other people. So I wanna tell you a story about the time that Jesus was so angry that he actually got a little physical. So Jesus, he came into Jerusalem and while he was here for this last week or so on earth, there was so much that he wanted to do and see before he knew that he had to go be with his dad. So he went to church, to the temple, which is the same as our church. It's where you go to find comfort. It's where you go to worship God. It's where you go sometimes to maybe feel closer to God. So Jesus went to his temple, and when he got there, he could not believe what he saw. He saw people with tables set up. They were selling chickens and eggs and fruits and vegetables. They were selling animals to be sacrificed for Passover. They, he saw people with money, exchanging money and selling um, like scarves and dish towels and toys and stuff. He could not believe it, that his church turned into a marketplace. It turned into a, like a flea market. He couldn't believe it. Could you believe it if you came into Harold Zion and when you walked through the doors, you saw chickens running around and stuff and you saw people selling stuff in the pews and in the aisles and up by the altar? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine how you may feel? Well, Jesus felt angry and he didn't stop from letting his anger get the best of him. He went in and he flipped the tables and he was pushing things and, and shoving tables around and there was chicken flying around and goats and lambs and everything walking around. And then there was um, fruit and vegetables flying in the air and coins. I mean, he was angry and he started to yell at the people and preach to them saying, what are you doing? this is my God's, this is my father's house. This is God's house. And look how you're treating it. You're being so disrespectful. Do you think that my, my dad would like this? No, he wouldn't like this. He wouldn't like people trying to make money in his house by selling stuff. 
He wouldn't like that at all. So Jesus told the people that they should not be acting like this. And they were, they said, yeah, you're right, Jesus. You're absolutely right. We shouldn't be doing this. And we're sorry. But when he said that, and, and that all the people were like agreeing with him, that made some of the priests or the pastors or the rabbis, that made them very uncomfortable and almost afraid. And I'll talk about that later in the week about being afraid. But he also told them that you cannot use your anger to hurt other people. You should use your words very carefully. Like if I say, I don't like you anymore, how do you think that would make you feel? And maybe I really didn't mean it, it was just because I was angry. So Jesus, once again, the wonderful God that we have and the teachings that he gave us through Jesus, tells us that we can ask for forgiveness for those sins, for being so mad that we say very mean things to people and we end up hurting people. We can ask God for forgiveness and you can also ask the people that you hurt for forgiveness too. So in the Lord's Prayer that he gave us later on this week we'll talk about, it says, forgive my sins and I'll forgive those who trespassed against us meaning those who sinned against us it's kind of like that but it's more formal in the prayer but so I can be forgiven for my sins if I ask for it and I forgive those people that have sinned against me that's pretty cool I think that's a wonderful thing that we can do for people is to forgive them and sometimes it's the hardest thing to do is to forgive people but nothing done right is done easy so Jesus would be very happy and so would God if we forgave people that hurt us and then we ask for forgiveness for those times that we have hurt those people so that's your lesson for today and I'll be back tomorrow with something else but right now, I think we should say a prayer. Let us pray. Graceful God, thank you so, so much for sending Jesus to us to teach us about grace and your mercy and forgiveness. We ask for forgiveness for those times that we get angry, especially now during the, the social distancing and quarantine. We ask that you forgive our bad moods and our bad words and our attitudes and for being brats. We, we ask for your forgiveness and we ask you to give us the strength so we can forgive those other people that maybe hurt us with their words or by their actions. We ask all of these things through your wonderful teaching God and through your son. Amen. So before I leave you, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Jeanette City School District, their robotics club, the J-Bots. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to them and tell them to keep going and we'll see you next year. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Stay out of trouble.